Hey guys, it's Miss Jones, 7th grade science. Hopefully you guys are staying indoors and staying safe. When you go into your Google Classroom, look in your April folder. And as you can see, there are three assignments here. You start here. This one is due tomorrow at midnight or right before midnight. There is a quiz and review that's in that new program that you guys love, quizzes. And then the last one at the top is due by Friday, right before midnight. All right, so let me just go through this one and then I will go through the other two in a different video. So let's just look at this and let's go into the slides. And let's present them. And as you can see, it says seventh grade science with Ms. Jones. This assignment is a two day assignment for Monday and Tuesday. April 6th and 7th, so take your time. There's no need to rush. Again, it's due tomorrow at midnight. Your warm-up question, you will answer in Google Docs. And the question is, what happens to mass in a chemical reaction? Use the information you've learned about mass in both an open and closed system. Please make sure you explain your answer. And if you look at that diagram, that is a picture of what a chemical reaction could possibly look like. So you can even explain that if you like. And again, you're going to explain it and write your answers in Google Doc. All right, so lesson 13, reading two. Again, what happens to mass during a chemical reaction in a closed system? Everyone should be completely comfortable with chemical reactions knowing what the difference is between chemical and physical and you guys should be familiar with a closed system before school ended we did do an experiment in a closed system and you watched quite a few videos of open systems so you should be comfortable with it as you can see it's taken directly from your workbook lesson 13 and let me just read a little bit with you getting ready did you know that when you play with glow sticks, you are watching a chemical reaction in a closed system. In class, you learned about what it means for a chemical reaction to take place in a closed system. The sandwich bag experiment was an example. When you combined the reactants in the bag, you observed a chemical reaction inside a sealed bag. Scientists call this a closed system. Nothing was added to the chemical reaction while it was taking place and nothing was allowed to escape. This reading helps you to think about why open and closed systems are important. Read to find out more about how glow sticks work. As you read, pay attention to the difference between measuring mass in an open system and measuring mass in a closed system. So remember, lesson 13 and activity 13 focuses mainly on mass. We know that we measure mass in kilograms and mass does not change. Or should I say it usually doesn't change. You're going to answer later on if it does change and when and why. These questions are all posted in Google Docs. You're going to answer the following questions after you continue the reading. I only read a portion of it. The remainder of it is in your Google Doc. So continue the reading and then there's four questions. Number one is what happens to the atoms in a chemical reaction. Don't think about the molecules. Think about the individual atoms. Number two, where, the, where do the new substances come from? Number three, could the new molecules come from anywhere else? That is a really good question. Think hard. Number four, would you expect the mass of the reactants to be the same or different from the mass of the products? after a chemical reaction. Again, those questions will be answered in your classroom and Google Docs. And then the last part of your assignment is a SIR model practice. Everybody knows that SIR is an acronym for claim, evidence, and reasoning. And I hope you all remember that you have to have two pieces of evidence to support your claim. So this is what you're going to look at. Banning chocolate milk. Research question. Chocolate milk can have up to two times more sugar than white milk. And as a result, removing chocolate milk from school cafeterias has been debated as a way to reduce childhood obesity. 
Researchers studied the effect of removing chocolate milk from cafeterias on milk selection and consumption. There's more reading about chocolate milk in your Google Classroom. Please continue the reading, and then you're going to do the SIR model. You're going to state a claim, whether you feel it should be banned or not. You're going to give evidence from the reading to support your finding, and then you're going to put it together and give us a nice conclusion in your reasoning. And as Obama is looking at you, he said, did you finish your exit ticket? So make sure you do that exit ticket. Your exit ticket question for today is, what happens to mass during a chemical reaction in a closed system? What happens to mass during a chemical reaction in a closed system? And for my geniuses, you know that that was the question we opened up with. That is the question for that particular lesson, lesson 13 from your workbook. And at this point, once you've completed this assignment, you should be comfortable with answering that question. What happens to mass during a chemical reaction in a closed system? I miss you all. Hugs and kisses to everyone. And please just continue to stay safe. And we will talk soon. God bless you all.